D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, I'm coming at you today with a little story for you. And um, the reason I'm making this is just because I wanted to kind of get it out there and everything. And uh, I was mad, but I'm not mad anymore. I've calmed down. It's been a couple of days. Um, but um, real quick, before I get started, I just want to say that if you uh, like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, you know, uh, YouTube recently changed up their algorithm and they give priority to uh, bigger, you know, companies and everything. And it's, it's hard for independent content creators like myself to uh, stay on top of stuff like that. So um, if you could consider please liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos and I thank you in advance so now that that part's over with I just want to say okay so how this came about was I was uh, talking to a friend and uh, I just want to also want to quick say that I am a huge DC fan a huge DC fan more than Marvel I know controversial um, I only read DC com well I don't only read I have Marvel and DC I, I don't read any more Marvel comic books anymore uh, they just it was either a big event or a crossover and it was just becoming too expensive and I couldn't handle it financially so I was just like I have to drop them because it was just too much so, not that I don't like Marvel. So, I only read DC Comics. And I was talking to a friend, like I said before, and we were talking about the Snyder Cut. He's really excited because he's a huge DCEU fan. I'm excited, you know, um, to see Zack Snyder's original um, uh, uh, story. Gosh, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited for it, just like all the other, you know, people that were just, like, released the Snyder Cut. And so we started, we were just talking about the things we want to see and all that stuff. And then um, I made the comment that I didn't like Batman versus Superman. I didn't like it um, and everything. And then I made, you know, and he kind of got a little annoyed with that. And then I made the comment about how I don't like Birds of Prey. Now, I, on both those movies, I don't like the movie overall. But there are things that I like about them. So then we started, it went from 0 to 60 really quick because he got very upset with me. And and I was very surprised by that because I was like, I don't understand what's the big deal. So then he made the comment that you should, if I was a true DC fan, I should defend the DCEU movies and not criticize them whatsoever. And I didn't, it's not, it's not like I took offense to that, but I did, I was like, it took me aback because I was like, no, that's incorrect. And I'm sorry, just because I'm a DC fan and I am a DC, fee, a DC fan, I still read comic books. I, you know, I love them so much. Um, but I, if, if you love something, you should criticize it because you only want the best of that material. It's just like when you read the comic books, if there's a story arc that's not good, sometimes you just drop out of the comic book and you're just like, I, I don't want to pay money for this. And the same thing goes for the movies. As fans, we should criticize. And, and, and like I brought up to him, uh, we criticize these movies because we want the best and we want only good things. For instance, and I brought this up, when it comes to Justice League, people, and, and I, I told him, if you, if you, by your standard, you should defend Joss Whedon's Justice League, and you shouldn't want the Snyder Cut, because you should be a true DC fan and defend Joss Whedon's uh, Justice League, um, and not criticize it whatsoever, but he did because he wanted the Snyder Cut, just like everybody else wants the Snyder Cut. And I just, I just want to throw it out there that if you're one of those people that's like, you shouldn't criticize D the DCEU movies, that's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous statement and totally wrong. I mean, like, we disagree on movies that we don't like all the time. I mean, like, that's the whole thing. It's your opinion on a movie and whether you like it or not. And I know there's some um, arguments about whether a movie is subjective or objective, uh, you know, but I think movies are subjective. What I like, you may not like. 
And like I told him, just because I don't like Batman versus Superman, I'm not taking, trying to take away your love of it. You love whatever movie you want to love. I love Wonder Woman in the, in the DCU, and I love Aquaman and Shazam. The other movies are either, in my opinion, bad or mediocre. You know, Man of Steel. I didn't dislike Man of Steel. I just don't like it, you know? So it's, it falls in that it's just okay to me. And then as far as Batman v Superman, I didn't like it. You know, I, I can't help what I feel for a movie. So back to the main point of this and my conclusion, if you if you want to say that. But <clears throat> if you are a DC fan, a DC fan um, don't take that stance of you have to you have to defend DCEU movies. You have to, you know, uh, like these movies no matter what. Uh, you know, and I, like I said before, if that's the case, then you should not want the Snyder Cut because you should defend the Joss Whedon Cut to the death, you know? But we don't. We wanted the Snyder Cut because we wanted to see the original version of this movie. And, and I, I think Zack Snyder's version was that original version. It just got messed with by, by uh, you know, CEOs and, and the, the higher-ups and the suits upstairs, and they were scared. So... Uh, yeah, one more in conclusion. Please criticize your movies. You know, you want what you want. This isn't toxic fandom. This is just fans not being satisfied with a product they've been given. And I fully believe that if you're not satisfied with a product, don't pay money for it. And so, uh, to that friend, I just, like I told them, I was like, I'm gonna hang up the phone right now because you're getting angry and I don't think that this is a conversation that deserves anger uh it's it's completely opinion based you like those movies like he loves all the dceu movies and i don't love all of them and everything so that's my story and everything uh i just uh you know i'm just i was very thrown by it and i was like how many people actually think like this this is that's ridiculous i have to defend I have to defend every single DCEU movie. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this story now. I hope you enjoyed my story, or maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you did or not, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you want more stories, I have plenty of them. Just leave them in the kind of, you know, share all your comments about it in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.